Hey City Kids, I hope you had a great week. Are you ready to see what's happening at Connect HQ? All right, remember to pause the video when they say the Bible verse. That way we can practice it together a few times with them. Then after the video, see if you can say today's Bible verse to your parents. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Hey, Doc. <laughs> Tony, you can't sneak up on me when I'm reading a book like this. <laughs> what you reading? Phantom of the Opera. I haven't read that one. It's about a creepy dude who causes problems at an opera house. Hmm. That sounds spooky. I'm surprised that you like scary books. I don't. But I learned a trick about scary books. If it gets too scary, just do this. Then you're free to think about non-scary things like rainbows or seahorses. It's just a little old book. What's so scary about it? It's little! There was a there was a spider in it and it. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links. Make the connection. And you never know what might happen. My name is Dot, and this is how I learned about the Invisible War. Why don't we ask Dot? Okay. Vanessa and I are working on this skit, and we're kind of disagreeing about the best way to go about fighting the spiritual war. I say the best tactic is to have a good defense. He says we should take the offense. I think we should be fighting and punching our way to victory. Ah. How do you expect to be physical in a spiritual war? I thought it was clear I was doing spiritual karate. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. You keep saying spiritual war? What is that? The Bible says we're in a spiritual war all around us. Right now. Between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of evil. Even here in Connect HQ? Even here. I think we should protect ourselves by laying down some traps. I've got a guy who can help us get our hands on some tanks. Okay, again, this is a spiritual enemy. Regular weapons won't work here. A spiritual enemy? Like a phantom? I wouldn't go that far, but it is like the forces of evil. But we don't have to be afraid. We have everything we need to protect us. We have the armor of God. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. I mean, to your point, the armor of God is more of a defense and less about fighting. <sighs> that is what I've been saying for the last Sorry to waste your time, Doc. We'll let you get back to your book. And I'm gonna be in touch about that tank guy. There's an invisible war at Connect HQ? Wait, wait, why did I click? Great. Maurice, you're just in time. I, th I think this computer has a virus. What? Mm -hmm. Well, let me have a look. Uh-oh. It's a fat lady virus. Uh, you mean like that phrase that's all over when the fat lady sings? Yep. And when you get this virus, it's all over. Your computer is donezo. Show's over, folks. Everyone go home. Uh, can it be fixed? I can update our antivirus software to protect the rest of our system, but this particular computer is toast. Well, if this one's dead, should we worry about the other ones? That's the thing about attacks like these. You can protect all you want, but it's not 100%. We're, we're vulnerable? Completely. Things can still get through our defenses. If we're not careful, this entire place could be out in a number of hours. Man, it really would be all over when the fat lady sang. We're unprotected hey. at the Opera House! Did, did you know she was back there? 
No. That scared the crickets out of me. Mm-hmm. Today, nothing has happened. It's been a good day. It's happening! What is? The Invisible War! We were attacked! How so? I heard Maurice talking about it. He said we're completely vulnerable. I need that armor you were talking about. There's a Bible link about it. Then play it, man! Here, it's in the archives under armor. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. is alive Timmy, what are you doing? You're supposed to be dressed as a prince I decided that dressing up in God's armor was way cooler You're not dressed in God's armor Yes I am Check the facts, right here in the book of Ephesians The Bible told me to put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in a time of evil well, it also says here that you should be wearing the belt of truth because God's truth sets you free from the lies of the enemy. Are you calling my belt a liar? No, but I do think you might be in the wrong outfit. To be honest, I didn't read past the first verse. What else does Ephesians say? Let's see. Ephesians 6.15 says to wear the breastplate of righteousness. Yes, I've got that right here. That's just a normal breastplate. The one you need helps us choose what is right and protects your heart from sin. Mine's no good then. Keep reading. All right. Next up, we have the shoes of the gospel of peace. They help you not to fear or worry about the things going on around you and share God's peace with others. Well, well, well. Would you look at this? No peace in these kicks. <laughs> it smells like fear in there to me. What about my shield? It has to be right. Can it strengthen you to believe only in God like the shield of faith from Ephesians? Probably. And can it stand up to the lies and bad thoughts the enemy might shoot at it? That depends. Can plastic defend me against evil? I don't think so. Oh man, I'm in big trouble. You might as well tell me the rest. All we have left to check off are the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. The helmet of salvo what? I said the helmet of salvation. It means this helmet can protect your mind and help you to only think about God. Oh, I get it. So, what about the sword? Is it a super awesome, dangerous sword? Here's your sword. No, silly goose. This is a B-I-B-L-E, Bible. I wanted a sword. Well, the sword of the spirit is actually God's word. When you speak the words of the Bible, it can cut the lies of the enemy like a sword. I don't think I'm going to have enough allowance money to spend on all these fancy Jesus clothes. These aren't physical pieces of armor, Timmy. If you pray, read the Bible, and have Jesus in your heart, you will always be dressed in God's armor. So I'm not fighting in an actual battle? Oh, it's real, all right. But we can't see the spiritual war going on right now. But we can protect our hearts and minds from fear or doubt with the armor of God. Wow. Thanks for all your help. I'm ready for battle now. So you see, the armor of God is our protection, and it gives us power. But what does an attack look like? So God loves us, and the enemy doesn't like that. So he wants to hurt our relationship with God. An evil attack may look like lies about you or lies about God. Wait, that's weird. Something's wrong with the tablet. That's an attack from the enemy! No, I, I don't think it's... I've got to show this to Tony. That's my tablet. Good thing there's always one lying around. Mm -hmm. 
Mike has got to clean up after himself. Another one bites the dust. It's the Phantom of Connect HQ! I, I think that's a little bit of an overreaction. I never overreact. There is someone or something working behind the scenes to take us out. It's an invisible war. Here, hold this. I've got to get my tank guy on the phone. Wait, 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 wait. Dot, did you say invisible war? Tony, I don't know how to tell you this, but there is a spiritual war going on around us all the time. Yes, I'm aware, but I don't think that's a reason for us to make up stories about phantoms and go around scaring people. I think you've been reading too many scary books. But I'm not making it up. I heard you and Maurice talking about how we were being attacked. Oh, no, no, we're talking about a virus that's going around. A virus? Mm -hmm. It's an invisible chemical attack! Oh, <laughs> Dot, listen to me. Even if it was some sort of spiritual attack, which I'm not sure it is. It could be. Okay, it could be. But God's already won the invisible war. What? When? How? There's no need to worry because the Bible tells us God's already won the war. <sighs> That's comforting. <laughs> It is. God is the ruler over everything. Evil may try to lie to you, scare you, and steal your joy, but all you gotta remember is, God wins, evil loses. So when we feel attacked... Say it loud. God wins, evil loses. And it seems like everything behind the scenes is working against you. You can call on the power of Jesus and... God wins, evil loses! Feel better? That definitely helps. <laughs> Don't worry about the lies in the dark. Just stay in the light with the armor of God, and you'll be just fine. Oh, that gives me a great idea. Wait, uh, where are you going? To the stage! You just gave me an awesome idea for a skit! Okay. <laughs> Behold, a light shining in the darkness. All around is an invisible world. We can't see. Can we fight it with lasers, tanks, or punching? No, it is a spiritual world. What then will protect us and keep us in the light? How can we thwart the lies we hear around us? Is there any way to combat Evil. There is. We have the armor. The armor! Bring forth the armor! It is written in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 13. So say we all. Ephesians 6, 13. Ephesians 6, 13. Put on every piece of God's armor. Put on every piece of God's armor. So you will be able to resist. So, so you, you will be, be able, able to resist. resist the enemy in the time of evil. The, the enemy in the time of evil. So when evil lies to you, put on the belts of truth. And when evil gives us stress, fear, or worry, put on the shoes of peace. Wear every bit, and the armor of God will protect us. But what if it feels like the darkness is closing in? Or what if we fear the light may go out? Remember, we already know the ending. The invisible war is already won. Say it loud. God wins, evil loses. See? There, I just updated our antivirus software. We shouldn't hear any more opera. You forgot we have Doc. I have just returned from the theater where the skit vision group and I made a skit about how God wins. Well, I can't wait to see it. I'm going... <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to make a connection transmission for our archives. Well, you should be good to go. Systems online and good as gravy. Thanks for protecting us from viruses. Just like when we wear the armor of God, I feel safe. See, I told you, there was nothing to worry about. Whoa, hey, man! Whoa, man! <laughs> Hi, my name is Dot, and I'm part of Connect HQ. We found this answer for you. 
The Bible tells us this in the book of Ephesians. Say it with me like this. Ephesians 6.13 Put on every piece of God's armor so you'll be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. In the spiritual war going on around us, we have protection. Wearing the armor of God gives us power. When you wear the armor of God, you can stand firm against the lies of your enemy. Put on the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, and the shoes of God's peace. Carry the shield of faith, wear the helmet of salvation, and don't forget the sword of the Spirit is God's Bible. When you speak the words from God's Bible, it's like cutting the enemy with a sharp, double-edged sword. We don't know everything about it, but the Bible does tell us there is a real spiritual war going on right now between God's kingdom and the kingdom of evil. Normal weapons like tanks and traps don't work against the spiritual enemy, but we don't have to panic. We know that God has already won the war. When you trust and follow Jesus, you're powerful because you're fighting on God's side. If you feel attacked, call on the powerful name of Jesus and it will remind you that God wins, evil loses. Put on your armor and stand firm in the light. God is in control of this invisible world around us. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Hey, City Kids, what a great lesson for us today. Thanks for watching. Remember to work on your memory verse so you can tell your parents. And you can tell me too. And if you forgot the verse, it's okay. You can play this video again and again. So have a great rest of your week. We'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.